have a look at the beautiful park of ours. Um, th this is something that I've seen this in, in, in beauties. It was in 2014 it, it, th th that you first, uh, and I, I know it was five nights in, in the, the uh, Tiger Fringe Festival in, 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 in beauties. For you, it's a one man show. I'm guessing it was quite not a tough decision, but it must have been a big step to say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take on this great work that, that, that people know and love, and, and, and I'm going to just be up there on my own. And I don't know how, how does one kind of even begin to think oh, that I'm going to do this. This is not this is not a worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I'd, um, I'd thought about it for a long time, and I had done a lot of work on it, um, because it's a it's a book that I I always enjoyed picking up and um, dipping in and out of, and uh, I had done a lot of work. I'd probably done fifty percent of the actual you know adaptation or the the editing process uh, okay. before I, I'd actually kind of decided to really knuckle down and do it and what happened was it was just a day I was walking around town and I met the um, the um, literary director of Fish Amble, a guy called Gavin Costick and Gavin sort of said look if you've got any ideas the submissions for the uh, show in a bag program which is part of the Dublin Fringe Festival and it's an initiative to basically get people to produce their own work, you know, on a small scale basis and which they can tour and, you know, express themselves artistically, but also, um, you know, create a, create a bit of an income. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was just kind of, the timing was was right. And uh, and then the time frame was, basically I made the submission, it was, I was, I had an interview, I was accepted, and then it was a process then from, April to the end of July to have the uh, the show ready right. and and start rehearsals then for the for the Fringe Festival. So the whole thing was a big kick bollock scramble at the <laughs> end, you know. <laughs> I often think like Joe and Joanna Six Pack, they'd, they'd know Orwell mainly for his Trumpian novel 1984, but but they wouldn't necessarily know, you know, that that, that he has a, a huge amount of work. But certainly this is considered because it's autobiographical or semi-autobiographical uh, his time in paris pretty much destitute is the first half and the second half of, of a sort of basically wandering around in uh, london and beyond uh, i don't know whether it's, it has been done before as a, as a play or, or it has i think it was it was done as a play before in london i know ronan wilmot who's a well-known actor producer uh, yeah. in town he uh he said that there had been a production in london it, it lends itself to um, to to being dramatised because there is so much uh, dialogue in the novel, right. um, and uh, the the uh, the original uh, the, the, like the source material is is very it's very filmic as well. You know, I think it'll make a great film. <laughs> um, and what 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 sort of I think the reason I like it so much is because it shows uh, a, a lighter side of Orwell. You know, it, 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 his sense of humour comes across really well. Um, and in the, the later work, you know, Road to Wigan Pier and, and that sort of thing, you know, it's, it's more reportage. Okay. And, and, the, and the nature of it is, uh, of the subject matter is, is, is poverty. So, you know, it's quite serious, you know, when you get into, you know, his more, his more serious work and... Um, uh, yeah, it's it's just more accessible, and I, I, I'm, the fact that it's so accessible, I, I really thought it would lend itself to a show, you know. Well, that's it. I mean, people, um, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are aware, but but uh, with Orwell, you know, he's this great mix of Ken Loach and Adam Curtis, and in the case of '84, Philip K. Dick, and he just there was a uh, surprising amount of foresight. But really, it is timeless, and, and that's the the nature of it that, that we yeah. do deal with certain issues and you know in society, and, and his idea that he could. You know, he, 1994 could be any time really it's just basically what might happen if we let you know dictatorship kind of run wild and so I, I wonder for you now with with um as an actor with with the challenge of, of to me it's like a long distance swimmer or something like just just that sort of loneliness thing of that you're up on stage you know you've got this entire show just on you I mean it's that I don't, I'm, I'm guessing it's exhilarating, but it must be terrifying as well or yeah I mean I, I kind of you have to prepare like anything you have to be prepared um, before it and and I, I kind of I because I've done it a bit now I kind of know what I need to do in order to be ready to 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 present it um, but uh, but no matter how 
how prepared you are uh, and how much energy you know you think you have uh, you're always a bit flattened at the end <laughs> <laughs> that's a good sign that's a good sign um, i know you, you, you uh, obviously i mentioned i saw it in Beaulieu's, but you've been in the you know dalmer in london you've been out in hawkswell in sligo i mean th this is a this is a play that you, you, you've, you've kind of taken around certainly in I the actually uh, initially i think when i did it initially just the whole process of, of doing it I found exhausting and I didn't tour it extensively okay. initially um, but um, I did take it to Paris and I, I did a, a, the, um, the Centre Culturel Irlandais or the Irish School as an awful lot of people know it right. and um, I did it there and uh, and I did a run in Bewley's I did a run a subsequent run in Bewley's after the Fringe Festival so this tour I'm doing now September October November is just about getting it out there and people yeah. have been I've been delighted that venues have been so welcoming you yeah. know and uh, and then of course it's great to come to Greystones you know here we are sitting yeah. in the old park just Back down the, the road source. from the old <laughs> from the old homestead <laughs> I was just looking at nature's goal there pretending to be Artens well they've just done that now it's a beautiful job looks really well really yeah went to, right down to the smaller detail of ape the original design and, and therefore it's exactly kind of a bit you know little uh, detail everywhere is just exactly the same which is lovely you yeah. know a nice idea to do yeah it's great um, we, we should um, we should mention uh, also that you have a, a, a wonderful um, and beautiful and talented uh, wife Sue Collins and I'm always curious no let's not talk about her well no, I just thought about work <laughs> 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 but working uh, in the same field is that a, is it an off limits thing when it comes to sitting down at dinner or do you kind of throw little ideas and you know I like the way things are going actually yeah. the way things have ever since you know I've started doing a bit more touring with my own stuff and it's 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 nice because you know, while we might be out of the house on the same night, it's a yeah. bit of a logistical kind of consideration. Um, but um, but I do like the fact that we're kind of a bit more uh, in charge of our own kind of uh, you yeah. know lives to a, to a large extent. I mean, I've been in the Olympia now doing once for the for the summer, and right. I finished there last Saturday, and it's a great show to be in. It's a privilege to do. But you are working for somebody else, and and they right. do make you work quite hard, right. <laughs> a lot harder than I would make myself work, you know. <laughs> well, I do I do want to sort of give a little uh, nod to, to um, obviously the Newlands is a, is a, is, a, is a, one of Sue's great kind of uh, outfits, but then she's just recently had a great success with her friend Sinead Culbert with the Dartboards. Mm. Here's a great title if they want to do a show, and, and this is genius because I, I thought of it. How about embrace yourself? This is brilliant. Waiting for Gatto. <laughs> they could always have a slice of cake at the end of every show. <laughs> it's just the two of them. That works for me. Yeah. So we should say October nineteenth. You're going to be here at the at the whale. Um, no, no. Uh, is it? Oh, October the nineteenth. But I think yes. we're doing the at the fourteenth of September first. Ah, right, 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 right. There we go. There yeah. Different dates. Yes. I know there's a lot of planning going into this, so they've been bouncing around with different ideas. Now the um, the, the sense that uh, uh, that an actor's life is a tough one. You seem very kind of content, though. You know, I don't know whether you you, you still get those uh, natural kind of you know worries that oh, who knows what what next month will bring, or, or whether you've, after all these years you've kind of managed to switch that off and be a little bit more in the moment and have fun with your kids and not worry. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I, I've worked I work really hard when I when I'm working, and um, and and I and sorry, just better watch my mind, but get knocked down there. All right. um, uh, yeah, when I'm when I've got a job in hand, you know, I give it all my all my con you know my my effort and concentration and and so when I'm finished, you know, it's it, it is it's 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 a nice feeling. Okay, job, hopefully well done and well received. Um, but uh, but the way things are going now, you know, there's uh, you know with cutbacks in the arts and everything like that, you know, people are having to be much more resourceful, you know. Right. Uh, in producing their own work, in diversifying, you know, it, yeah. it's it's uh, gone are the days when you can just say hi diddly d, you know, an actor's <laughs> life for me, you know, because you know get paid by RTE yeah. or, the, or the Abbey on a on an ongoing basis, yeah. you know, because those those days are gone. So you really are only as good as your last uh, as your last job. Um, are you, are you tend to go back to exotic dancing or? Is that a, those days yeah, over? yeah. I have a degree in belly dancing, as you know, <laughs> and uh, what do you call it? Uh, I'm uh, looking forward to uh, 
uh, taking it easy now. I think Pilates and yoga is more yeah, my thing so now, you know. And you seem to be getting finally getting the hang of this acting thing. You know, I did see this uh, this uh, 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 yeah, down out to London Paris. You, you seem to be finally getting there. Well, it's um, it's not canning peas in Tala, as a guy <laughs> said to me once. You know, you know, it's uh, it. <laughs> it's it's good to to kind of keep what one does in perspective, really, isn't it? Rock and roll. Well, listen, I look forward to this. Um, I, I know that uh, a lot of people in the town will be dying to see this. I was lucky enough to see it earlier. I'm really looking forward to seeing it again. But uh, nicely done, my friend. Thanks, Paul.